Alright guys, what's going on? I'm back again with second video today. If you didn't see it earlier, I did a squad builder with the second inform De Bruyne, De Brown or whatever you want to say, from this team at week and the second inform Perisic as well. It is a hybrid, it's not just them two. It's just they're the key players really. Uh, anyway, team at week, it looks pretty decent. Obviously you'll see straight away Aubameyang. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> Memphis to pie as well. It looks pretty decent one, but yeah, we'll get on to that. I should quickly show you them. Obviously, Harry Kane as well. Um, yeah, so we'll start on Lopez. I'll just stay on this mode because you can see him easy enough. Uh, Anthony Lopez. I'll tell you what they did as far as I know because I don't know all of them. But um, Leon drew one all against PSG. He made about eight saves and he saved his Latin penalty as well, but it didn't count because he moved off his line apparently. <laughs> but yeah, definitely justified. He looks a decent card as well. 84 diving, 88 reflexes. Moving on, we've got Mikel. I'm not sure what team that is. Is that UD? Yeah, UD Almeira. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. He looks a very good silver right back, especially being the fact that it's Brazilian and his top tier is 74. 83 pace, 80 physical, 73 defending being his best stats. And his dribbling and passing aren't too bad either. Jardel from SL Benfica, not sure what he did either. 62 pace is kind of uh, average on the centre back. It's not terrible, not bad. Uh, not terrible, not good. Good defending and physical, being 81 and 83 respectively. Next we've got Kuyate, who looks an absolute tank to be fair. I think he'd be better as a CDM, but obviously he played centre-back against United. So you can't really argue that. He does look very, very, very good with that 89 physical, 79 pace and 74 defending being his best stats. Next we're moving up. We've got Saul who scored a goal and got an assist, if I'm right, in Atletico Madrid's 4-0 win over Real Madrid. He's got a bicycle kick, so you can't really complain there. He's still only young as well. Uh, not very good all-round stats, to be fair. He looks quite poor. He'd be better off like CDM or so. Next up, we've got Sergio Busquets. Surprised with this, I don't even think he's ever had an info on FIFA. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, he looks quite decent, to be fair. 84 defending, 82 physical, 81 passing. Next, we've got Dries Mertens, left mid instead of Cam. I'm not sure how I feel on that, but he has got very good stats. 89 pace, 89 dribbling, 80 shot, and 84 passing being his best ones. Got Scherler, who I think got an assist and hit crossbar or something. I don't even think... It was that justified. It was it were a good debut for him, but it won't. I don't think he should have got team at week. I'm a bit shocked with this one. But 89 pairs, 84 shot, 80 passing, 85 dribbling is really good on FIFA as well. His normal card. Next, we got Morata. I think he scored twice for Juventus. I think they were playing AC Milan. I'm not too sure on that, though. Don't quote me on that. Uh, 79 pairs, 79 shot. That's alright. I don't really like him on FIFA, though. Next we've got Albama Yang, the main man himself. That 96 pace, obviously moved to a striker like his first in form. So I'm guessing next week for he will actually be a striker as well. Uh, Dortmund, God, how they needed that win. <laughs> they won 3-0 and Albama Yang scored two of them. 96 pace, 85 shot, 83 dribbling looks insanely good. Next Memphis Depay, the five-star skiller. Scored twice, I think, for PSV. 92 pace, 86 dribbling. On the subs now, we've got the first silver, which is Aurelio Gomez. I'm actually shocked to see him doing so well at Watford. Got 83 diving, 83 reflexes. I think the 1 2 on Watford. Next, we've got Silamani. Uh, looks quite decent for a left back. Not exactly the best pace, but he's got a good defending, good physical, pretty good passing for a left back. Next, we've got the second bronze. We've got Ariomi, 82 pace, 70 dribbling, and just decent all round for a bronze right mid. Next, we've got Mario Rondon, I think it is, yeah. Uh, right winger, not sure on that team. It's CD Nacional in the Primera Liga. Probably butchered that, but oh well. 80 pace, 78 shot, 79 dribbling, 75 physical, very good for a right winger. Next, we got Wellington. Oh god, how the how the flashbacks are coming. <laughs> Still see him in my nightmares, really. Silver 73 has gone down quite a bit, but 84 pace, 77 shot, that's insanely good. You can't really complain. Next, Gary Hooper. I'm not sure on Norwich result. 
But um, 78 pace, 81 shot, that's really, really good for a silver. And 74 pace, 75 is good. And we know who's next. Harry Kane, two goals against Arsenal, and he just played insanely well altogether. He's in form of his life at the moment, which isn't really saying much when he's like 19 or 20 years old. <laughs> 73 pace, 78 shot, 75 dribbling. I'm a bit curious as well if he'll get an upgrade. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with silver in forms. But yeah, he looks insanely good as well. So yeah, if you've enjoyed that, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, etc. It helps me when I'm getting back into YouTube now. I am going to be uploading regularly. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.